Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to use web service transformation in Informatica Cloud. So web service transformation we are using in the mapping designer to make a web service request and to map the web service response to the target. It also allow you to interact with external web services like REST or SOAP APIs within your data integration workflows. It enables you to send the request and receive the responses from these web services like for the in the real time data fetching, data validation and the integration with the third party system directly within your ETL process. So it is used basically web transformation is mostly used to integrate and communicate with the external system or the application via web services. The purpose of the web service application is to facilitate the data exchange transformation and the synchronization between the different system over internet. So SOAP is the communication protocol for web services and WSDL is nothing but it is the web services description language is an XML schema that describes the protocols format and the signature of the web service operations. The web service operations include request for the information, request to update the data and request to perform the tasks. The web service transformation connect to the web service as a web service client to access, transform and deliver the data. So we'll see in the mapping how we are achieving this web service transformation operation. So here we need two components first. In the administration, we have to create the connection first for the WS consumer. So you can log in into the administration console page, then go to the connection, click on new connection. Here we can give the name. Select in the type select WS consumer select runtime environment in authentication you can uh, see there are three options username token other authentication and NTLM authentication so we will select here other authentication here we have to define the WSDL URL and the endpoint URL so I found this WSDL URL on the YouTube on the Google so we'll copy this paste it here in endpoint URL also we are pasting the same so let's save this now we'll log in into the data integration we'll create the component here Whenever we are using the web service transformation, first we have to create the business service where we can use this business service in our mapping and we can use the logic. So in business services, click on create. So this URL is for the calculator here we can do the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Four operation we can do here. Select the connection which we created. You can see here select operation just click here. In source operation we can select multiple operations here for now i am selecting only the add operation will perform only one operation click on ok save this now we will create the mapping
we'll select the web services here so you can see in the web services transformation there are incoming fields web services request mapping response mapping output fields and advanced options are available so in web services we'll select the web service we have selected only the add operation that's why it is showing only add operation if we select the multiple it will show here all the options select add we we'll select the source so let me show you my source of employee table this is my employee table and you can see here i have created two columns you know, for the my, for my input let me show you in mapping <clears throat> so in mapping in web uh, in source we will take this employee table so guys i have one question in the web service transformation uh, the common question will be asked in the interview like what are the common protocols used in the web services please answer this into the comment box now in web services you can see the request mapping here we are able to see all the um, incoming fields and in body you can see in add it is providing two integer type integer a and integer b so whatever column we have added in our source we have to map into here so it will take the addition here you can see the add result will map all the descendants here and these add results will come into the output field in envelope so whatever column we have created in target uh, for uh, one column i have created like addition so i have mapped into the add result so it will give me the result of that two integers number save this here it will ask me fault group and envelope so i will select this for add result we'll select the employee target you can see here in incoming field we are able to see this add result column we'll map to the addition column and then remaining will do the smart map save this mapping is valid now let's run this mapping this is my source data you can see mapping is executed successfully with two affected rows so let's check in target okay so you can see here in addition column we are getting the additions of that two numbers two integer number let me copy So you can see hundred plus two hundred is three hundred for one zero one record. 
and 300 plus this 200 is 500 for this 102 record. So in this way you can use the web service transformation in Informatica cloud. So main purpose is only to facilitate to ex data exchange transformation and synchronization between different system or the external system over the internet. So if you feel this video is informative, please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you.